If you have been watching all of our videos on the the RAM, the, bleh, the CPU, the motherboard, the v video card, um, as well as the SSD, the hard drive, and the, and the RAM, um, you are awesome. You have seen all of our reviews thus far for our, our, our Tomahawk Strike build. Thank you. You rock. Now we're going to do the review for uh, the power supply. Uh, this is an EVGA 500B uh, bronze power supply. Uh, the B means bronze. If you couldn't get that, that's okay. This way. Our manual here. All right, this way. Power cable. Um, it smells interesting. Um, this is the bridging um, socket thing. Yeah. And power supply. Let's put this over here. Oh. Oh. So, this is essentially close to the same power supply that we installed in the last build uh, in a, a baloney bot. This one is just. Uh, 80 plus bronze, where the last one was just 80 plus. Okay. Oh, we're going to out of the way. So, pretty standard power supply. You've got your M -m -m motherboard power, uh, PCI power, some SATA's, some LX's, um, more SATA's, and I'm not going to go through all of this because, no. So it's it's a it's a 500 watt of uh, power supply, um, which should give. Uh, you more than enough power to start out with your uh, g gaming computer uh, if you have uh, a Ryzen 3 and a 1050 or a Ryzen 3 with a 1060 or maybe like a low end r r r Ryzen 5 or an i5 um, it's a good budget power supply plus it's kind of short so that's nice um, you already have all the cables, so you don't need to worry about uh, forgetting to uh, 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 connect a cable like a CPU power. Everything's already here. You just have to route the cable to where it needs to go in the case or on the board. Um, and if you have a case that has a power supply cover, uh, you don't you don't need to worry about covering up all all the cable mess because uh, the cover will do just that. Uh, so you can just hide all the cables uh, underneath. Like for this build, um, we will only need the the motherboard power and the CPU power. Not that one. It's it's in here somewhere. Uh, motherboard, the CPU. Um, and those are the only two power connectors that are actually going to go onto the motherboard. Um, there'll be, uh, two power connectors going to the SSD and the hard drive, but because the video card doesn't have ATX power, um, all the PCI cables will be stowed, uh, in the, uh, underneath the case, or in the little bay. 
So, that's always nice. It's pretty light for a power supply. So, yeah. They're, they're pretty nice. If you don't have... Um, if you don't have the ability to get in uh, the the semi-modular or the fully modular uh, power supply, uh, these are still a good option. If you like this video, that one. If you didn't, maybe that one. Uh, if you like watching our content, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We always appreciate that. And let's put it back in the box. This is on first. Let's see if I can get the power supply back in the bag. And I did. The real challenge is next. Look at that. Down. Down. Oh, I always have a problem with this. Putting things back in boxes is not my best thing. That's fine. So, our next review, next and last review for this computer will be the case, which is the, uh, a Cooler Master Master Box Lite 5 with a dark mirror. Um, and that'll be coming up next. Thank you.